Okay, so we were looking at exact differential equations. Oops, we were looking at exact differential equations. Okay. And we defined them, we done one example, and now I think we have two other examples to do. Okay. So, here's an example. Check that this thing is exact, and then if it is, solve it. Okay, let's try this thing of not bothering to check if it's exact first. Okay, we can check, we can, the exact, well, not bothering to check it like they check it with, you know, considering this to be the f of x, sorry, to be clear, we're considering this to be the fx, oh no, the other way around, sorry, they've written it, for some reason they've written it. <coughs> <coughs> other way around and all. So this, can, this is considering this to be the fy, the y matches that y up there. And we're considering this to be the fx. Okay, so let's integrate them. So integral of that, integral of fx, what is the integral of 1 over 1 plus x squared? Oof. I think it's like arc cos or arc tan or something. Uh, I just need to find out. How do I find out? Oh, I'm just going to look it up quickly. What's the integral of arctan? Sorry, what's the integral? Oh, what's the derivative of arctan? Derivative of arctan. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's, it's 1 over 1 plus x squared. Yeah, okay. So the integral of 1 over 1 plus x squared is arctan. So we have arctan x. And then this, then we have x arctan y, because arctan y is now considered just a constant so far as, so far as the integrating in terms of x is concerned. Now the other one, x over 1 plus y squared equals y cubed minus 1. So if you integrate in terms of y, x over 1 plus y squared, you're just going to get x times arctan y, right? Okay, we well, already have that term, x plus arctan y. And then now if you integrate y cubed in terms of y, you're going to get a term we don't have, you're going to get a... You're going to get y to the 4... Yeah, y to the 4 over 4, or to y to the 4, and if you integrate minus 1 with respect to y, you can get another term we don't have, minus y. Okay, and that's it. That's the f, and I'm going to set that equal to a constant. That's, that'll be, that's the solution. Okay, uh, is that what they get? They end up with x arctan y, here with x arctan y plus arctan x plus a quarter y cubed minus y plus c equals zero. Yes. Okay. There. So that's all we need. That's that's all you need to do. You don't actually need to do quite as much as they do. Okay. Now let's do this one. Solve this. Okay. Again, I'm gonna not check. I can see that they that the thing the problem is gonna come there, but I'm gonna show you how not checking is fine. Okay. So we have t y. Okay, so we have our f, well now it's in terms of, y, of t and y, not x and y. So remember that we're thinking of writing this equation as this is the fy term, because it's the term with the dy in it, and this thing is the ft term. Okay, so we're saying the ft equals ty, so that means that f will be something like, f will be something like, so we're now integrating in terms of, Integrate, we're going to integrate in terms of uh, t, so you're going to get, what, you're going to get half t squared y, right? And then the other one, the fy, that's t squared plus t e to the y. So when you integrate in terms of y, you're going to get t squared y. We have half t squared y, we don't have t squared y. So you could say, oh, I think I'll add an on extra term of half t squared y, but you can't do that because this term now, when you differentiate to get ft, when you integrate, when you, yeah, when you differentiate to get 
ft, this term will also be there. We get differentiated in terms of t. So this is not going to work. Okay, this thing is not exact. Okay, as you could also find out by taking the partial derivatives of each section, so by looking at the second partial derivatives. Okay, so this differential equation is not exact. So in other words, it was, it's not right. It's not right to call that an ft, and it's not right to call that an fy. They're not, they not partial derivatives of some f. Okay. So that was not true. So if we multiply through by 1 over t, we do get, we get a new differential equation here. Okay. So you multiply through by 1 over t, you divide through by t. Of course, that means you divide through by, multiply through by t, that means that t is not going to be equal to 0. Okay. Or rather, so you have to, you're going to consider t equals 0 separately later. So multiply through by 1 over t, you recover a new differential equation, y plus, you know, you have t, and then you have e to the y, which is exact. Okay, so let's solve that. Well, they say it's exact. Let's solve it and then try and solve it and solve it. We'll see if it really is exact. So now this is our proposed ft, and this is our new proposed fy. So if ft is y, that means that f would have to be ty. Okay, so and I have fy is t plus e to the y. You'd get a ty, we already have that term, and then e to the y, the integral of that is just e to the y. So that's fine. It's fine to add that term because it doesn't have any t's in it, right? So it's not going to interfere with the F, ft we have. Okay, um, so you said that equals constant, and that's the solution. Okay, now there's a little note. All separable equations are also exact, since dy dx equals, if you have a separable equation, so that means something you can write like this, the x is separate from the y's, okay, so that you could separate up, take all the y's to one side and all the x's to the other side, including the dy's with the, with the y's and the dx with the x's. Well, this can be rearranged like this. Uh, how? You, oh, you divide through by g of y and then you bring everything to one side. Now here, if we make if we make this our fx and this our fy, this fx, this fx we have, so we have fx equals f of x, and fy equals 1 over, oh, minus f of x, sorry, gy. Now when you take the partial, second partial derivative, is fxy, the uh, derivative of f of x in terms of y is just 0, there's no y's in that. The derivative of 1 over gy in terms of x is just 0, there's no, because there's no x's in it. So this is equal, so it is exact. OK, so whenever you have a separable equation, you could solve it as an exact equation. So you don't actually then need to remember how to solve a separable equation because it's exact. If you just remember how to solve an exact equation, then you'll be able to do it. But sometimes, no, there's no reason to then remember separable equations, to be honest, that I can think of. I don't really think it's ever going to be easier. OK. Maybe it was, maybe some it'll be easier. No, I don't think I can't think of a time when it would be easier. Okay, and that's the end of the video.